In this example, I've got two separate lists on the spreadsheet. In column A, I've got names. In column B, each person's salary. And in column C, I want to use a VLOOKUP formula to find out the tax rate for each person's salary. In this second list, which is going to be my lookup table, I've got a tax table. In the left column, it displays salary range. And in the second column, it displays the tax percentage for each range. So I'll go ahead and start my formula by typing equal. And by the time I type a few letters of VLOOKUP, Excel's formula autocomplete pops up, verifying that VLOOKUP is the function that I'm looking for. It is, so I'll go ahead and double click and Excel starts the formula for me. And what's really nice about formula autocomplete is that in case you don't remember the arguments, it lists every argument for you in its proper order. And if you're not sure what an argument is, you click a link to get a help topic. So, the first argument is lookup value. What do I want to look up? Well, I want to start by looking up this salary, 43999, which happens to be in cell B2. That's my lookup value argument. I'll enter a comma to separate the argument from the table array, which is my lookup table, or in other words, where do I want to look? Well, I want to look in this tax table. To get the cell references into the formula, I'll just click and drag and that gets F5 through G24 into the formula. I'll enter a comma. Next is the column index number. Which column contains my search result? Well, I'm looking for the tax rate, so counting from the left, 1, 2, 2 is my argument. Enter a comma, then finally range lookup. In this case, I want true or an approximate match. I'll double click. Excel enters that in the formula. I'll enter my ending parentheses and press enter. Now, to get the result for everyone else here, I'm going to drag this formula down the column. In other words, I'm copying the formula. When you copy this formula, you need absolute cell references to lock the cell range of the lookup table. I'll go up here in the formula bar, and this formula has relative cell references so far. To convert F5 into an absolute reference, I'll press the F4 key on my keyboard, and the dollar signs indicate that it's absolute, and then I'll click in G24 and press my F4 key again, and now G24 is also absolute. I'll press Enter, and now I'll copy the formula down the column by using the fill handle. I'll just click and drag down, release the mouse button, and there I've got the tax rate for each person. Now to verify the accuracy, for example, Phillips earned 28909 and got a 5% tax rate. And over here in the table, anyone who earns between 25000 and 29999 gets a 5% tax rate. Notice, by the way, that the true argument for the range lookup means that this first column must be sorted in ascending order from smallest to largest. Instead of using absolute cell references, you can also lock your lookup table by using a named range. You'll see how to do that in the practice at the end of the course. Up next, help in avoiding VLOOKUP errors.